Good Monday morning, Bob Brooks here. Today I want to lay out the roadmap to success for network marketing, MLM, affiliate marketing, online marketing. Whatever you're doing online or whatever you're calling it, I want to give you the roadmap to success because it's pretty much the same for all of them. But before I get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. If there's something you would like me to teach on, talk about, please leave a comment below. If, I, if you're enjoying the content, please let me know below that you like the content. I'd love to see some comments. But so let's talk about this roadmap. I've got three three things I want to talk about in this roadmap, and it's mindset, skills, and strategy. And I want to start, start <laughs> I'm stumbling here this morning, but I want to start with our mindset because we're taught from our early ages to be an employee. We get that employee mindset, and they're different, the employee and the entrepreneur. We're going to talk about it right now, but the employee mindset is to trade your time for dollars. And, but, and, and we're taught to be, you know, here's how it goes. If you go to school and you're taught, what to do, when to do it, what classes, what your assignments are, what time you take lunch, what time you go home, uh, what your homework is, be here tomorrow at this time, this is when you take your summer vacation. And I remember telling my kids, while they were in school, your only job is to go to school. That's all I expect I do is go to school and get good grades. That's your job. My job and mom's job, take care of the house and everything else. Your job is go to school. And I said that, the employee mindset. We trade our time for dollars. I go to work every day so I can get paid at the end of the week. It's what we do. That's what I was taught. That's what I've, I've been teaching my kids. And that's the employee mindset. If you've ever been at work, uh, <laughs> most of us have jobs. I hear it all the time. People saying how they hate their job. They don't want to be here. They come dragging their butts in Monday morning. Oh, you're, and there's a lot of grumping and grinding and all that stuff going on Monday morning, usually through the week. But that's the employee mindset. The entrepreneur, on the other hand, we love the opportunity to work at our business because we know it's an investment. We invest our time and our efforts and our skills for the reward. We don't expect right away to get compensated for, I don't expect to get compensated for this video. This is a long-term thing I'm doing to help people because I want to make an impact. And that's another key aspect of an entrepreneur. They want to have an impact on other people's lives. I want to have an impact on you guys out there and teach you how to stop spinning your wheels. Uh, the failure rate in network marketing is just way too high and I want to have an impact and help change this industry. But it does start with you. And, an on, and the entrepreneur mindset is about me. It's about you. It's about taking responsibility for your own actions. It's stepping up and saying, I might not know what to do or how to do it, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn how to do this. And it's, all, you, it's your responsibility for your business. And a lot of people sit around and wait for the right sponsor, look for the right sponsor. They call their sponsor. I get it all the time. Can you help? Can you set up my page for me? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Well, an entrepreneur is going to not wait because I'll tell them, yeah, I'll get it. It's going to take me some time. I got a lot on my plate and I'll get it. And I usually get to it within a week or two or something like that. It depends on the task, but I help them. But that's not the type of help that they really need. What they really need is the mindset of, I need this. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I'm going to learn it on my own. There's enough YouTube videos out here to teach you how to do anything. Connecting a domain to a page, there's tons of videos, but I get called and asked to do that sometimes. And well, I'm I'll help you out because you're on my team. But if you want the right mindset, it's got to be one of those, I want this done now, we'll learn how to do it right now. And that's the entrepreneur. We take action for ourselves. We work hard. We typically work harder than the average person with a job. And people can't believe the hours I put in. I do this. I'm working my business every day, and I'm still going to work 11 hours a day. And most of my Saturday, I work my business. People are like, well, that's crazy. I'm like, no. Because I'm already starting to see, the, you know, the, I talked about the wages of an employee and that of an entrepreneur. My wages are start, my entrepreneurship is starting to do this. And I'm getting excited. Yeah, over here, it was a grind. It was a grind in the beginning because I lacked a lot of skills and I lacked the right mindset. And I'm still working on these things. What I'm teaching you, I'm still learning. And by teaching it, it helps me learn it even better. So that's why I do this. And it's, I'm kind of a, a little bit obsessed with it. As an entrepreneur, you have to have a little bit of obsession with your business. It's got to be your baby. You really got to focus on it. And I tell people, you know, you got to have the mindset that you have a million dollar business because you do. And if you learn it, it'll be that million dollar business. And you have to know that to get that right mindset. That's our mindset. So I want to talk about skills next because this goes right along with what I said, confidence. The, the entrepreneur has confidence. Well, these confidence comes when you grow your skills. And I, I want to spend a little time on that right now because we have some skill sets. And number one is finding prospects. That's a skill that if you're going to be online, affiliate marketing, network, whatever you're talking about, you have to find prospects. You have to find a way to generate leads and find prospects that you can talk to. Number two is you have to learn the skill of inviting those prospects, those leads, 
to a presentation, a video, a sizzle call, a web page where they get more information. And I used to just say getting the lead and then having the link there was it. But no, there's a skill to inviting people to watch. You've got to get them to look at the information. A lot of people are going to become leads and sign into whatever you have, but they never actually watch anything. They don't learn what you have. So you have to get really good at inviting. Number three, you have to get good at presenting yourself because you might meet somebody on the road and they ask you and you want to be able to present it. Now, the number one way is to get them other information because we tend to fire hose people <laughs> when they ask us questions, we overdo it. Uh, but if you learn how to present properly, you lead them back to the stuff. So that's a skill to learn is presenting. Number four is a key one that I had a tough time with and that was follow-up. When somebody does watch your presentation, you need to follow up with them. A lot of us like to sit back and wait for them to call us. They're not going to call. <laughs> Let's see if they're not going to call. Quit checking your phone. They're not calling. you got to follow up with them. And that's a skill on how to follow up with them without seeming pushy. There are ways to do this. And I don't want to go into how to do these things. Um, number five is closing. you got to know when to shut the door and help somebody get started. Because a lot of people are apprehensive. And I mean, I don't understand on $44 but they're still apprehensive, they're scared, there's fear, there's, there's doubt, there's all this stuff. And closing is n nothing more than you helping them over that anxiety. That's what closing is. You want to help them. And that's number five. Number six, you got to have a way of getting people started. You got to connect with them and help them get their stuff set up. You got to have a way to do this. You got to learn how to do this. And again, all these skills I'm getting better at. The better you get at them, the quicker your curve goes up. That's it. And because the, the quicker you, the, the better you get at these skills, the more confidence you have, the more confidence you have, the more you take action, the more action you take, everything takes care of itself. So, and then the last thing is promoting events. It's a skill. You got to get people to events. You got to get them to the calls, the company calls, the Zoom trainings. I do one on Saturday. I'm going to mix the next two Saturdays. Uh, I'm going to be traveling, getting my son from college, taking him back. So I won't be doing Zooms for two Saturdays. Uh, but those are all skills and you need to get better at them. And like I said, the better you are in each one of these skills, the quicker your business grows. And so many people don't have any of these skills and they're afraid to get these skills. And if you don't want to get these skills, you should be in this industry. And that's part of the failure rate. People don't want to get the skills. But if you really have your vision and dream and want that million dollar income, there's nothing going to stop you. That's the entrepreneur mindset. So that's why it all goes back to mindset. You got to get the mindset that I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. I'll overcome myself. Because a lot of what you hinder in skills is yourself prevents you from learning it because of fear, doubt, whatever, anxiety. And if you get that mindset right and says, I'm going to learn it because it is a skill. And skills come from doing and learning. I always talk about swimming. You didn't know how to swim when you got in a pool, but you got in the pool. All these skills, you have to get in and do them. If you're not trying them and learning, learning comes from execution and you have to execute. So that's that. And then the, and the last one is strategy. You've got to have a strategy for your business. I like to call this my daily method of operation. You've got to have a method of what you're going to do every day to build your business. You've got to put in there what books you're going to read, things like that. You've really got to have a strategy and how you're going to get from here to here. And it's not that difficult. All the tools and skills I've just laid out, you can learn them. I've got some training on other videos about these skills. Uh, the mindset, I work on that all the time. It, that, the best way to work on your mindset is through reading. Uh, there's a lot of good books. I'm reading Straight Line Leadership right now. I'm almost done with it. It's my second time through it. I really like this book, but it gets your mindset right. Uh, there's so many things that you can do. But strategy, you've got to have a method of what you're going to do daily to build your business. But that's what I got for Monday. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.